All right, <laughs> let's actually discuss what you came here for. So on Wednesday, me, GB, UG, Red, Destiny, and Ikari were all in a Discord call together watching the PlayStation Showcase event that was going on. And I'll admit, there were some high points, there were some low points. It was pretty mid, if I'm going to be honest, the whole event as a whole. However, just as I thought it was going to be a, another PlayStation event that we'd have to write off and ignore, something at the end appeared. That's right, <laughs> Spider-Man 2 gameplay. It's finally here. We finally get to see gameplay of Spider-Man 2. And oh my goodness gracious me, it looks absolutely fantastic. I, I love it. And I gotta be completely honest, I think this was definitely way worth the wait, in my opinion. So, yeah, I guess without further ado, let's actually get into some of the things that I really liked about the whole uh, gameplay reveal trailer. And not only that, but also a few things I really liked as a whole, too. So, yeah, let's, let's go do that. <laughs> so, when it comes to the gameplay, I'm mainly just going to be focusing on um, Spider-Man's gameplay and... Maybe a little bit of Miles's, but it's mostly just Spider-Man, like Peter Parker's Spider-Man. Uh, mainly because of what he has got. Yes, <laughs> he's got the black suit. So, if you guys remember, actually, a month ago, I made a video where I was kind of hoping they would have saved the black suit reveal for when the game actually releases. Similar to, like, the Doc Ock uh, villain reveal. I was kind of hoping they would have you know, hold off until the end. Well, not really till the end. I would have hoped they held off until the game actually released to show off the black suit. But you know what? I'm fine with it because it is a really nice looking black suit. It's a nice, you know, interpretation of the black suit. You know, the alien costume. And I, I don't know why, but I've been looking online and there's a lot of people that are just mixed about the suit. For example, one of my uh, moderators... Uh, Devere Levy, originally he was actually mixed on the black suit, as when we were talking about it in the DMs, at first he was he was saying he wasn't really feeling the suit, you know, you know, with the bits of outlines of the red suit with the black suit and all that, but he still really enjoyed the gameplay, and then the next day he actually retracted that statement of his opinion on the black suit, saying that he actually likes it after watching it, so you know what, I mean, fair dues, I mean, honestly, I mean, I still think it's a really good looking black suit. It's kind of like a a classic version of the alien costume, but kind of mixed with the more armor based suits of the Insomniac universe. As if we get on later on, like if you look at other costumes and all that, they, and even in like the first game as well, a lot of the villains' outfits were more armor based. So it kind of does make sense for the symbiote to have a little bit of armor sort of on there, because it makes sense for the aesthetic of the game series. Most of the costumes have a bit of armor on. Most notably, you know, the Spider-Man suit, the, you know, the Rhino, the Scorpion, Vulture, Electro and all of them. They all have an armor-based outfit, so it does make sense aesthetically. So, I'm very happy with the black suit and its design. And I think, honestly, it's going to be amazing to play with that black suit. Especially with what we've seen in the gameplay, it looks so brutal. In fact, in my opinion, it's probably the most brutal gameplay when it comes to the black suit we've ever been given. Probably since 2009's Webs of Shadows. I think it's, it came out in 2009. Was it 2009 or 2010 Webs of Shadows? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but point is, it's been a very long time since we've had a black suit that shows Spider-Man not really holding back his punches. And I really cannot wait to play with that black suit. Alright, next on the list is the lizard. This bit's going to be a little bit shorter than the previous bits, mainly because we don't really get a proper good look at the lizard in the trailer. As for most of the trailer, the lizard's just running around. And the only real good kind of look you get is like, well, really his scales and the skin that he, you know, like morphs out of or whatever or whatever the correct you know biological term is for when a reptile does that honestly we don't really see that much of the lizard but we know the lizard is going to be in this game and i cannot wait to fight the lizard in this game because i think honestly 
it's gonna be a fun fight. Uh, like, I've always enjoyed whenever the lizard is in a Spider-Man game because his you can do the lizard in so many different ways. You can make him, like, you can humanize him, like, you know, in the Amazing Spider-Man 1 film. You can try and humanize him. You can, in the games, you can make some really interesting and creepy boss fights, which I'm really looking forward to. I really hope that, like, the, the lizard fight you have either as Spider-Man or as uh, Miles, I really kind of hope that the boss fight is more or less just really, like, difficult, and also it's very scary. I really hope, like, throughout that fight, you're going to be literally looking around, and you're going to try and hope that the lizard doesn't get the jump on you, because if it does, well, you're lizard food, pretty much. <laughs> but, yeah, I really like the, you know, that we got the lizard in the game. At least it's confirmed. I mean, it kind of was confirmed at the end of Miles Morales, as if you know, at the end of the Miles Morales, Dr. Connors is working with um, Norman to release uh, Harry from the back the, from the tank. I was about to say back the tank. This ain't Star Wars. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're talking about releasing Harry from the from the tank, and yeah, maybe this this bit here is probably what causes the symbiote to get releases released, and also maybe. Connors is thinking of maybe trying to redo the formula because if you have to remember there's actually a collectible in the first Spider-Man game where you can find lizard blood and yeah I'm really looking forward to like how they're gonna explain how Connors turns into the lizard again maybe there's a reason like for the lore but I'm really looking forward to it so I think it'll be pretty cool now the next thing I want to talk about some of the new move sets that have been shown off, mainly for Miles, uh, I want to actually talk about. Uh, specifically, uh, web catapulting, um, gliding in the air, which both uh, Miles and Peter actually do in the tr in the uh, gameplay reveal, and also web zip lines or web lines that are now a thing. So it's really really interesting seeing like these new move styles. I'm very surprised that. We've only just, like, they've only just been shown off now. I was actually very surprised that it wasn't a thing in Miles Morales, if I'm going to be honest. I thought they would have uh, done it in Miles Morales, mainly because, you know, Miles has different movesets and all that compared to Peter. But I would have thought the gliding would have been in Miles. But you know what? It's cool that it's finally in, you know, this game here, and that both of them can potentially use them. I'm assuming that, um, so far... Like, the, the web zipline might be a Miles exclusive. But I do think both of them will be able to do the web catapulting. We obviously know they both can glide in the air with the webs. Well, not really web gliding, but gliding in the air. So, I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. And any more gameplay reveals we end up getting. Maybe showing off other new movesets or all that. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, like, we got web zip lining and all that, web catapulting. Like, if I'm going to be honest, like, something like that, that's going to revolutionize, like, the web swinging montage genre. Like, with the gliding and the web catapulting. I'm really looking forward to maybe doing some web swinging montages with those new movesets when the game eventually releases uh, this fall. So, yeah, I guess let's get into the final thing I want to talk about. Now, for the last thing I actually really want to talk about. Sergei Kravinov, or Craven the Huntsman, to give him his real full title. Oh boy! When it was first announced in the original trailer that Craven is going to be in the game, mainly because, you know, the voice you hear, he talks about hunting, he talks about this and that. I am, I was so excited when that announcement was basically happening in the very first trailer because oh my god the lot for the longest time i've always wanted a spider-man game where craven is like one of the main bad guys you actually go up against because it's always you know the usual green goblin doc octopus venom you know or mysterio or just some i don't know it's just not really a unique big bad you know and finally seeing Craven get the spotlight as one of the main antagonists, it really does make me happy. Um, 
I'm really looking forward to all the stuff like about Craven. You know, I'm looking forward to maybe, you know, seeing him like go from how he is at the beginning, you know, just a huntsman, to maybe doing what he does in Spectacular Spider-Man starts to slowly, you know, try and adapt to, you know, to become one of the greater huntsmen's, you know. The, like, one of the most more formidable foes that Spider-Man will have to eventually fight. And, honestly, I think maybe this fight could be probably one of the best f boss fights we could ever get in a Spider-Man game. You know, Kraven versus Spider-Man. I, I really think it'll be a fun fight. And not only that, but, I mean, Kraven's such a fun villain. Like, I love some of his storylines, specifically Last Hunt. Last Hunt, I've literally got, like, um, a book like il illustration of it like it's the comic but it's also more of like a comic-esque like book sort of thing like, i have it somewhere it's a really really good comic and i absolutely recommend that if you're a spider-man fan and you've not read this comic do yourself a favor read it it is an amazing comic and it really does like show how dark sometimes spider-man can actually go you know like it shows how many like, it shows how dark, like, the Spider-Man storylines can sometimes get, like, without, like, you know, stuff like the death of Gwen Stacy, or the alien costume, when it's, like, this full, you know, conclusion with the Venom, you know, symbiote fight. I, I'm really looking forward to Kraven. He's one of my favorite villains. He is, out of all the Spider-Man, you know, mythos villains, you know, like, he's up there in my, easily in my top five. And I look forward to seeing, you know, what we're going to be doing, how we're going to be stopping Kraven, and what's his master plan is in Spider-Man 2. I think it's going to be a really fun ride, and I really look forward to <laughs> what we see Kraven do. So, <laughs> yeah. And, and not only that, but I mean, he has a really nice design in this game. You know, he has a really nice outfit. I know it's basically the classic outfit of Kraven, but more, you know... Insomniac, if you get what I mean. But it looks really good, in my honest opinion, and I really do look forward to the Craven fight that we will hopefully eventually get soon. But, uh, anyway, guys, that's it really for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, do feel free to leave a like, and actually feel free to leave a comment down below, actually, of your opinion on the Spider Man 2 gameplay reveal trailer. Did you think it was a W? Did you think it was an L? Do you like the black suit? What do you think of Kraven? Do you think the lizard's going to be a major threat? Do you think Miles is going to have to fight Peter to get the black suit off him? And also, what do you think's going to happen when Venom arrives eventually at the end of the game? <laughs> Let me know like down below like your opinion on the whole thing. Let me know down below. I, I do read all your comments and I do look forward to actually reading all of your comments as well about this. Because it's a really amazing, like, you know, video that we saw, you know, we, we saw an amazing set of gameplay, and also an amazing, an amazing video, like, you know, just from Insomniac. So, again, thank you, Insomniac, just for, for showing us that I really do love the, uh, the looks of it, and I do look forward to playing this game eventually when it later releases at the fall of this year. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been me, Kane. If you are new around here, you know, do feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a Let's Play on Spider-Man 2 for the PS5 when it officially releases, like in the fall of this year. I do officially plan on doing a Let's Play for this game. And I think it's going to be a pretty fun Let's Play, if I'm being honest. So, <laughs> yeah. Stick around if you want to hang out for those uh, streams. Uh, join the Discord if you haven't done so already. It's a pretty cool place to also hang out. And also, there's a Spider-Man room, so if you want to discuss stuff about Spider-Man, come on down to the Discord server and come and discuss about Spider-Man in there. <laughs> but anyway, guys, it's been me, Kane, and I will see you all in what I do next. Bye, guys.